Welcome to your reading, Sagittarius. This is your love reading for November. Be sure to look at your sun, moon, and rising signs for clarity. Usually during eclipse seasons, your rising sign will hold a more correct message. So make sure to look at your other placements. If this message resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Okay, let's get into it, Sag. Okay, we have joy and delight. And prosperity and abundance. Wow, this is an exciting time for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have go with the flow. Yes, Sag, I think right now is looking pretty bright. I think that whatever comes through for you, Pretty exciting and bring you a lot of joy and happiness. Okay, let's see what else is coming. The Oracle's Gift. Okay. And we have Great Big Love. Sad, so exciting. And a Merry Motive. So, yeah, I think this is going to be. Um, a very nice time for happiness. This is a great time if you're looking for love to find that one that's going to bring you happiness and joy. Wow. Okay. We have three cards that popped out. So let's take a look at these. We have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So it seems like you've been probably waiting for this. You've been very patient. Um, you have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Great. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. It seems like you're very well balanced, Sagittarius. You're in a very good place mentally and physically, I believe. And that leaves you open for all aspects of love to come into your life. See, <laughs> the first card out, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're very happy at this at this time, Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else is coming. What else can you tell me for Sagittarius? The Seven of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. You have the Five of Wands. You have the Two of Cups. have the King of Swords. You have the Four of Swords. And you have, wow, okay, these two wanted to pop out. You have the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. And what's at the bottom of the deck? 
you have the Three of Cups. So I feel at this time you're very supported. I feel like everyone's coming to your aid. I feel like maybe there's celebrations or get-togethers in the near future that are keeping you busy. Now, in the first row, we have the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you have a lot of happiness around you. You have many options. Um, you see yourself with many options. And I, I feel like all of those options lead you to the Ten of Cups. I feel like a lot of people have their eyes on you, Sagittarius. I feel like there's a lot of competition. There's a team that's building around you. I feel like the people that are around you, I feel like you know, you have a really strong support system. You have a lot of people who are backing you up. And that's leaving you very open. Um, you have the King of Swords and the Two of Cups. So this King of Swords may be someone who's coming your way. He's very wise. He's very intelligent. He may be an air sign. He may be someone who is really going to balance you out, really going to be there to kind of lead you through the way, you know, be someone who is very intellectual, someone who's very smart, someone who is um, very put together is what I want to say. And you have the Four of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles excuse me, the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like after a time, you are coming out of feeling like you're lacking your recovery. No, that's not correct. Okay, I, I feel like you're taking your time in the situation. I feel like you are patiently waiting. And I feel like this person that's coming towards you, this person who is moving towards you, they feel like they don't fit up to your expe expectations. They feel like they're lacking. They feel like you won't be receptive to their offer. But they are coming in. They are coming in, but they're hesitant. They are, I, I feel like saying they're waiting on you to make the first move. They're waiting on you to show them a sign that it's okay to come in and offer this to you. I feel like they want to communicate with you, but they're hesitant. I'm not feeling that they're shy. I'm feeling like they feel like they're not worthy of your love. They feel like you are this person that they're holding on to on a pedestal. They're putting you up on a pedestal. It may be that you, you surround yourself with people. You surround yourself with Are you working in your community, maybe? I'm feeling like you're very influential. I'm feeling like you are someone that people go to. 
when they need advice, when they need support. And I'm getting so many cards that are coming out. Okay, let's take these one by one. Okay, so with the with the Ten of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles. So I, I feel like there's definitely communication coming in. There's definitely communication that you're going to be very happy about. And I feel like this person, even though they don't feel like they are worthy of you, I feel like you don't see them like that. I feel like you see them in a totally different light. You see them for what they can offer. With the Seven of Cups, you have the Three of Wands. So I'm, I'm feeling like you actually seeing yourself with these, this person. You're seeing yourself building a future. You are seeing the possibilities of building something that's lasting with this person. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Chariot. So I feel like you're moving in the right direction. You are going through a huge change at the moment. Or maybe this person, hmm, is this person asking you to take them on a trip? Or is this person asking you to go on a trip with them? With the Five of Wands, you have the King of Swords. So there we have this King again. Yeah, we have this King. So it's definitely, it, it very well could be an air sign. It very well could be an air sign. This person, this person is going to be honest with you. They're going to be straightforward. They're going to hold no bars. This is someone that you can trust. Now with the Two of Cups, you have the Three of Pentacles. Is this more than one king coming in? I'm feeling like this could be more than one king. This could be more than one. Yeah, with the King of Swords, you also have the Devil. So this could be an air sign, or this could also be an earth sign, um, Capricorn. I'm not feeling like this person is toxic. I'm feeling like just that, this person... It's the zodiac sign. I'm, I'm feeling like it's the sign that's coming through, not the card. So I'm feeling like this is a Capricorn. He's just coming towards you very honest and open. He's not going to tell you any lies. He's going to be a, a leader, be very stable. Yeah, I'm kind of seeing... The King of Pentacles, even though he's not here, I'm, I'm seeing that that Earth sign. So I, it may be a Capricorn that's coming through. With the Four of Swords, you have the Justice card. So I feel like this person is coming through. This person that's coming forward is going to provide you with balance. It's going to balance you out. With the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Wands. Wow. This person. This person wants to be your fulfillment. They want to provide you with protection. 
stability. They want you to see them as someone who is your defense. Wow. Okay, Sagittarius. And you have the hermit on the bottom. So with the hermit on the bottom, I feel like you've looked into your spiritual side and asked for this person. You may have been single or isolated for a while. You've been very patient in the situation. And now this is coming, this is coming to you. This is coming in. Yeah, you also have the five of swords in reverse. So this person is someone who is coming in and they are there with, without any drama, no conflicting energy. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's get some cards to go ahead and end this reading, Sagittarius. Okay, Sag, let's get some cards to end this reading. What advice, spirits, do we have left for Sagittarius? Okay. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Okay, so it may be something that you've been dealing with for a while. And it, you're gonna you're getting the answers. Yeah. Full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. So yeah, you may meet this someone in eclipse season. If this person isn't already in your life. You may meet them in, in eclipse season. Take time to breathe out this mating moon. Let's get one more. I'm feeling like one more. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, you have don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo yes sagittarius so you have the strength you have the power don't let your pride get in your way of any kind of happiness okay now if this reading has resonated with you please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings and take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity have a wonderful eclipse season, Sagittarius. Many blessings. Love and light.